Okay, so we're gonna talk about Krayshawn and Blueface and Nelly and whatever. Um, so I really don't really want to go too deep into it, so it'll be a very quick video, but definitely. I feel like Blueface will never learn. Um, they want to call him Jonathan now all of a sudden like he's a changed man. He's never going to learn. Um, these are simple things. When it comes to court, when it comes to dealing with anything in law, it's crazy because they're simple things. What they're really looking for you is to be a repeat offender. And they're also looking for you to just have violation. Like, it's simple things. Like, probation. Like, how you violate, like, come on. And this is what I mean by, like, being in a, in a situation or a place that you shouldn't have been. Um, and that's one thing to definitely speak about. But I definitely feel like his term, he can, it's manageable. Um, WAC 100 is saying that he's going to get out earlier. Mm. And, and once again, like, I read the document on Daily Mail, I believe. And I can't really pull it up right now. But... Y'all could put it in the comments. Just be respectful to each other. That's all I have to say. Be respectful to me because we're not doing that. Um, you will get deleted and booted. But for me, it's like these are all it's like up to up to four years. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and with Krayshawn, I, I believe though with and you guys can write in the comments what's correct. But I believe allegedly it is four years. But WAC 100 is trying to say that it's not. Um but once again, I could be wrong. Put it in the comments. Y'all could do y'all little journalism. Y'all want to do it. I did my quick journalism. Um, but anyway, so for me, it was Chris Shantz. It's so interesting how her term is longer. Um, it has to do with, you know, drug possession and everything else. But it's so interesting to me because she was fighting. She was on these shows. She was being catty. She was jumping people with other people. She was pregnant. She was pregnant. She's wearing all this jewelry. She's going around places drunk. And it's really sad to see. It's so sad to see a black woman do these things and act this way. And I'm going to be honest, the whole crazy love thing wasn't cute. Zeus did it to exploit them. It was not cute. It was not cute. And it just shows it's really sad. And I love her sister, uh, Tzeki Tzeki Sauce. What's her name, Tzeki? Beautiful girl. I don't care. I love her. I love what she's doing. I love the way she's carrying herself. I love that she got everything going for her. Like, she's doing her own thing. I love it. She's doing her thing. And it's crazy because she would have been by her sister's side. She really would have been. But the fact, and we don't know what happens behind the scenes, but she was really rooting for her sister. And her sister decided to do all that for TV and started to get jealous because I personally, I'm going to say alleged, but personally, I really think she got, she got jealous of her because she's doing things bigger and better. And she doesn't need to be catty. She doesn't need to hold onto a man like Blueface. She doesn't. So anyways, let's get to it. So she has a kid. Um, I thought the kid's name was Krishan, but apparently the kid's name is Jonathan, the baby. I don't know. This is crazy to me, but it is sad that she's, you know, in jail and her kid is out there. And I think that allegedly it's with the family, but still, I think it's all sad. Um, I think it's very interesting, though, how she wrote on Twitter and all that acts saying how I ain't never going to get locked up, basically, and saying how, and I'm going to say, let's say allegedly, but, you know, the tweets was out there, her saying, I go on vacations, I'm not dealing with the guy that she, um, she punched, or she ass assaulted, I think we could say that, um, she aid, um, basically, it's so interesting to me because you see how people glow and all that and put all their jewelry out there and rings and stuff. And it's like, that means nothing. Because look at you, you're sitting behind bars. And I'll be honest, her mugshot, I was like, she looked like she having fun in there. Like, she got a little twist out to the side. I was like, is she having fun? Because that photo looked like she having fun. She just got pulled from playtime. That's how I was like, hold up. <laughs> like, what's going on in there? What's going on? And I don't think that prison is going to help her. I think she needs a lot of mental help. I think she needs to be surrounded by her family and real friends. Um, but I don't think that being in prison is going to help. But look, these are, these are I don't want to say simple charges. I just want to say really dumb. Like, you have almost everything going for you. you had Zeus you had that show with Jonathan you were on uh what was it revolt like that whole interview with Jason Lee like so many things uh the 20 versus one like so many things going for you and it's just interesting how she let it get to her head like she let people persuade her into thinking like 
oh, you're you're top shit and you should be treated this way. And maybe she started thinking about that herself, but still, it is really sad. Like, I don't look at Krayshawn Rock and say, oh, well, she's a damsel in distress. Or I don't look at her saying she's an evil person. Like I said, I think she makes bad, decision. I, bad decisions. I don't think she's a bad person inherently. I think that she makes bad decisions like many people do. But her time, it says up to eight years. That's a lot. She's not going to see her kid till her kid is eight, allegedly, when you think about it. It says up to eight years, so we don't know. We don't know what's going on. But after seeing her, and she's only been there for, like, what, since June? Oh, I don't know. She looking like she having playtime in there. She getting toe up, but she looking like she having playtime in there. And that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. It really is, like... It's just, like, crazy. Both of them are in jail at the same time, and that's really sad. It's really sad. Or or prison, which you ever want to call it. But write what you think in the comments. What you think about the situation? You think it's normal? You think it happens a lot? Um, do you know someone it's happened to? Has it happened to you? Like, I, I think it's crazy, but I also wonder if the person that she, um, t what's the Tamar's backup dancer? I think it's Jonathan, right? I think um, the person that she allegedly assaulted, I wonder if they are also going to come out on top of this because this is these are different charges. Like this is a different charge from what he's pressing charges for. So I really wonder if that's going to get factored in and will she get more time? That's really what I'm curious about. Um, but we don't even know. We don't even know if she's really going to get the full eight years. We don't know. So let's make this quick. So on to Nelly. It's like when I start talking about, it reminds me of Portia and Simon. When I talk about a happily ever after, when I talk about how beautiful the family looks, how fun they do everything. And that's honestly my fault because I look at all these things on social media and I'm like, oh my God, I really think like they, they doing things different. They trying to do things right. Good for them. Good. You know, good. And then I'm just like... We end up hearing how something happened. I'm like, oh my God. Like, come on. <sighs> So I think it's really, really interesting, the timing of this. I will say definitely with Nelly and having the whole baby showers and everything and them deciding to come back together. I thought it I thought it was a beautiful thing. I'll be honest. And I'll be that's my fault because that's what I see on social media. That's what I see being put out there. That's my fault. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have said like this is a thing and this is cute because he's still doing the same old shit. He hasn't changed. Um, and I think about stories like the game and getting girls pregnant and he, this is not him being in all the, the jail type stuff. But what I'm saying is, is I just think about him getting Evelyn Lozada's daughter pregnant. Like it's just, oh, <laughs> it's gross. But I just think about how these rappers move and I'm just like, can y'all ever just chill the fuck out? Can y'all ever just chill the fuck out? Like, when are y'all gonna chill? It should not be this deep. It shouldn't go this deep. Like, what are we doing? I ain't gonna go into that. But I would just say my thoughts, which is it's sad, it's crazy, it's a hot mess. Who knows if Ashanti knew or not. People are saying, oh, she knew. Maybe. She also couldn't have. I don't know. All I have to say is for me, I definitely gave a little praise to their relationship. And I thought it was, like, beautiful. I thought it was this. But now I'm starting to see it. And maybe everything is, like, smoke and mirrors. And what you see is really not what you think you see. Um, and that's something to learn with social media. Like, don't believe everything. Don't believe me. Everything I could be saying could be a lie. Like, I don't know, like, you know, you don't know me. So it's, like, things like that. Like, stop romanticizing what you see on the Internet is definitely something to think about when it comes to relationships, love, marriage, and kids. Bye, y'all.